Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another vid for you guys. So I know yesterday we did a Gale video, but today a totally new broken strat with Gale has emerged and I have to show you guys. It's literally an insane base race comp. You win every single game in like 15 seconds. If not, you leave the save at like 2% unless the other team is smart and they have it expected. And you guys need to learn this strat before it happens to you guys. So with that being said, we're going to jump into some games and we're going to show you guys exactly what this broken strategy is. All right, so here we go into our first game. So we're facing Jesse, Rico, and Bull. So we'll see if these guys know about the strat, but this is literally all you do. Spike and Daryl have the highest DPS when it comes to a base race in the game. So literally all we're going to do is walk forward, put a launch pad, and jump. Oh, we're not able to get over the wall. That's my bad. I should be doing better as the Gale over there. But literally all they're going to do is go inside that safe and absolutely shred it. You guys can see how much da damage they're doing. Even the bull can't compete with them. Now, I did mess up over there. I should be doing better with the jump pads, putting it a little bit more forward. That is my bad. But we will get that issue fixed right here. But you guys can see exactly what the strategy is. It's super, super broken. Um, so again, let's just take this out. We're going to put the jump pad a little bit more forward here. But we're not going to use it because we're not the DPS here. Literally, the only thing we're supposed to do is put a jump pad in a decent position. So Toonie's going to go. He's going to jump in. Let's see if Toonie can do some damage. RC's also going to try. But you guys can see Toonie just absolutely shredded the save. Is he going to be able to finish it? He's not going to be able to. No, I put a jump pad over there just as like a kind of just like a troll, I guess you want to say. Or you could say. But you guys can see how effective the strategy is. Now, again, the Gale literally does nothing you don't have to do anything with the gale you just have to get proper gadget positioning which low-key i didn't even have this game but it's pretty incredible the amount of damage you guys can do super super fast now we didn't get it right this game even though we did win it could have been much quicker and much easier so with that being said we're going to hop into our second game and we're going to try and show you guys that again all right so here we go into our next game now they're going to be running daryl bull and dynamite so let's see what these guys do. They can obviously do an unreal amount of damage, but I think we should be fine over here. So we're just going to move up. Going to put this down right here, and we're going to jump right over. Now, hopefully... Oh, no. Toonie went down. Now, Toonie is our key to a lot of damage. Now, I do definitely need to go back and defend over here. Uh, I'm going to jump over here. Hopefully, RC can do a lot of damage. We do have to take these guys out. They obviously do a ton of damage, being a Bull, Daryl, and, uh, and Dinah. But I think we got this one kind of down. We're going to be able to get those kills, and there we go. Really good damage done by their team, but we as well obviously did really good damage. I'm going to get this pad over here and try and see if I can jump in. Because I just jump right into a Daryl and a Super. RC's doing a really good job. Toonie Super's the safe, and this should be game. There we go. It is going to be game. Now, Dynamite is a really good counter for obvious reasons. He could literally do like 6.5 thousand damage. It's probably the wrong math to all of us with just one shot. All of us combined. So you guys can obviously see how we could get countered by a Dyna. They had a really high DPS comp, but we should be able to just completely steamroll teams. So again, let's hop into the next game. And let's try and get a really fast win. Okay, so here we go into our third game over here. So again, going to try the strat one. Oh, not one more time. Another time. So again, we're all going together. A little bit of juking. Going to stand on this right here. And we're going to jump. And the Dino don't take out Toonie. Yes, it's not going to take him out. Oh, no. But he gets taken out anyways. Anyways, we do a really good amount of damage over here. Again, I'm not really the damage. So I'm just kind of spamming auto away. I'm trying to just get my super or whatnot. Do a little bit of damage here and there. But really, really good so far. So we're going to leave that pad over there. Because it's a really good spot for our teammates just to be able uh, to jump in whenever they need. Toonie's going to be able to jump in. He's, as the spike, obviously going to do a really good amount of damage. We have RC over here. We're going to help take out this guy. And so far, it's looking pretty good. So now we're just going to try and hold mid as a Gale. Now, I am on iPhone again. I've been playing on iPad a lot recently. So I am trying to still get used to my phone. But it should be going pretty well. Toonie's going to jump on the safe again. He's going to use Gadget, get some shots off. Now it's my turn to try and do a little bit of damage. I'm going to push that spike back. RC is going to roll and we're going to be able to take it out. So again, another really convincing victory. This strat is absolutely broken. I saw or I didn't see. I actually participated in a game earlier where we won the game in 16 seconds. So if your opponent is slacking, you are going to be able just to completely jump in and completely take out their safe super. Er yeah, I guess safe really, really fast. But anyways, we haven't done that yet this video, so we got to keep trying. Let's hop into it and let's see what we can do. All right, so here we go into the next game. We're facing BB Spike and Daryl. So this is a really good comp that they have. A comp that I would definitely be running before Gale Meta. So again, we're just going to run up. Same strat. Going to get right over here. I'm going to body block because I'm not the damage. And we're going to jump right over. Now these guys were expecting it. They were ready. 
but even still we're able to do a really good amount of damage rc is taking some good shots still we do have a bb on our safe but without super i'm not really that concerned about a bb so we could just leave this thing here um trying to get toonie back on the safe of course so we're going to jump together what how did toonie get over but i did it i don't think it should matter anyways because they're just going to be able to take it out super fast and again 31 second win it's absolutely unreal what you guys can do with this comp now let me just say the reason why spike can take out a safe so quickly is because of his gadget if you stand directly inside the safe with spike while using his gadget and shots it is an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage same thing with daryl you guys are just going to stand inside the safe use his gadget it's going to spin do a ton of damage and then also his regular shots do a ton using secondary star power is also really useful as you can gain your shots back with the super but with that being said you don't really need that if you have spike and daryl on the safe but anyways you guys are seeing the absolute dominance of this just broken comp so again let's hop into the next game let's keep showing you guys what we can do all right so here we go again back into the next game now we're facing a nita a daryl and a bb so again same strategy walking up gadget etc we're gonna just absolutely try and shred these guys so again trying to jump over now we might be able to do a ton of damage here let's see what we can do oh my god there we go absolutely popping off rc gets the roll and there we go we did 72 percent in 15 seconds we absolutely popped off over there so again that is the strategy that we're going to go with um they're going to try and get on a launch pad here i think i can just launch myself in to be honest going to be able to i'm just going to push this daryl back i'm going to do a little bit of damage because i can't do too much toonie's going to jump on the safe he's going to try and end it he's not going to be able to but again after you get that original push you can put different jump pads down that could do that can hit the safe in different areas uh so we do got a daryl over here we could honestly just take this l over here because we don't matter all we really are needed for is that gadget as i've said so we're going to put a hyper bear on our safe we're not too worried about that though we're just going to jump in over here kind of just serve as a distraction push this guy away he's going to use super on us toonie's going to jump in toonie can you do it he's not able to do it so we should probably take out this hyper bear now that probably would be a good idea for us to do as the game is actually getting pretty close here so toonie's going to use his super i'm going to walk up i have my launch pad and there we go going to be able to win the game we can just finish off that two three percent whatever was left on the safe really good game over there so again you guys are seeing the usefulness of this comp it's literally no skill you don't need to hit any shots just walk up hit the auto aim button on the safe super super easy as long as you guys have the right components so again let's hop into the game no matchmaking time let's see what we get we're going up against the spike a bb and a brock so we're getting a really fast kind of like one push type of comp so again we're just going to push up on this left side let's see how woke these guys are on our strategy gonna use this launch pad gonna jump in so there's a bb over here We're, oh that bb is gonna completely take us out so even then even though we got barely any shots off we still did 16 percent so now we do have to treat this a little bit more like a game though instead of kind of a base race because these guys do know our strategy now brock is really good once it has position so that's something i'm a little bit worried about but we should be fine uh the spike is doing a really good job of kind of just holding lane but rc is gonna roll he's gonna be able to get that kill now rc and toonie are planning to jump at the same time um let's see what we can do we're gonna move up we're not gonna jump in with them because we don't want to kind of join in and get the collateral so we're just gonna try and annoy these guys from the side bb pushing up on us is a really good thing toonie's gonna jump in we're just chilling we can completely just forget about this guy over here he doesn't matter to us we're jumping in doing a little bit of damage as we should Looks like this Brock is just going to leave us alone. We do about 3% per shot if we hit the full shot. Um, oh, we're going to miss over there. Spike's going to use Gadget on me, which is actually really, really good for us. So let's see what's happening. It looks like RC's thinking about jumping in right now. As you guys can see, though, we're not just standing on this on the, uh, on the launch pad. We're stepping on and off it. You don't want to just step on and get absolutely pooped on. So Toonie's going to hop in right now. We're going to see what he can do. But there is a BB waiting there for him, I think. Yeah, he's going to go down pretty fast um i can't go in because i don't do enough damage almost able to take out that spike we might lose this one to be honest it's going to be really really close trying to kill this brock over here we're going to be able to do so toonie's going to jump in hopefully toonie can do some good damage i think he has an opportunity to yeah he's not going to do enough i'm just standing over here on this side they're almost able to take us out so i'm pretty scared here rc with a really good kill this bb is just going to bubble this middle oh maybe not Oh, he's going to bubble me, actually. I don't really know why he did that. Doesn't really make much sense. Um, oh, oh, that bubble. We're able to just juke it over there, but we're in a really bad spot. Going to try and stun that Brock for the moment. Going to be able to. Toonie, unfortunately, is going to have to body block. 
Ah, uh, that's gonna be game. So unfortunately, these guys, they're good ladder players. I can give them that. I see them all the time on ladder. They're able to get the W. So what we're gonna do is play one more game to see if we can win. Those guys played the comp correctly. And if you guys can defend it correctly, you are able to win. Which is why I wanted to put out this video because I know a lot of you guys don't have Gale, but a lot of you guys need to learn how to defend this properly. So just do what they did. Stay patient, don't just completely run up. But anyways, this is gonna be our final game here. So let's move up and let's try and do the same thing. Let's move up. Um. Yeah, these guys know about the strat. You guys can tell they're all just waiting in the back. Um, yep, we're not able to do anything, basically. So really, really good defense again by them. Now, we're also at really high cups. So if you guys are at lower cups, this is going to be super, super easy wins for you guys. Nobody's going to be expecting this at low cups. Um, I think myself and RC are going to jump in. Oh, no, I wasted the jump for myself. That might be fine, though. Knock me back. Oh, it's not going to knock me back. Really smart play, actually. Going to stun that guy right there. The super is actually, or the star power, I mean, is actually really good. People don't really see it as it being very good, but it's actually pretty useful. But now again, these guys have defended our comp really well. So it might be a little bit of a tough victory. Toonie's going to jump in. I don't think he's going to do much damage. I'm going to jump in as well. Yeah, these guys are just going to leave me on the safe. Now, I do do a fair amount of damage. And with us having a spike, we're actually able to defend pretty well. So if my team can defend, we should be fine. Toonie's going to be able to get that kill. They should do fairly well against the bull. Yep, so they're going to be able to get the kill on the bull. They just need to get the BB now. And again, I'm just up here. I'm kind of just chipping away, doing pretty good damage. Rico's going to come in. Toonie's going to jump. I'm going to push this guy away. Toonie's going to do some really good damage. He's going to get another shot off. And it's just not going to be enough to get that victory. But anyways, we're going to end the video there. That's going to be it. Because I do have some stuff to do. I do need to stream for you guys as well. But that's going to be it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this amazing kind of just like tip slash play. If you have Gil, 100% take advantage of it early. Not a lot of teams know about this. And even if they do, you can still win the games if you don't kind of succeed on the first try of jumping in. But if you're not at like the 800 mark or the 700 mark, no teams know about this. So just continue doing so because it's really easy wins. You can keep getting easy cups, etc. But anyways, if you guys have it, take advantage. If you don't, learn how to defend against it. Stay patient. Don't just run up. But anyways, it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed our game and our video. Again, leave a like, sub if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys like the video. But anyways, it's going to be it. I will catch you guys again later. Peace.